In this video, I want to show you how you can use the lookup DAX function in Power BI to search for columns from one table to another. I'm going to show you how to do it step by step with an example and also show you an alternative way of looking up value using relationships. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's jump right into the demo here. I've created a very simple Power BI report that we can use as an example for today and this report only has two tables in it, order details and products. The order detail just has some information about the orders themselves, what products were bought, and also the quantity and the unit price for these products. Now, uh, it has a foreign key, the product ID, which links back to the products table. Now, this products table gives a bit of information about the product, so things like their name, their category, or the supplier name. And let's say we have a task to include the product name into the order details table. Now, if you use Excel or anything similar to it, you would be familiar with a function called the VLOOKUP. Now, uh, there's a couple different ways that you can do it in Power BI, and one of the functions that almost look identical with how you use VLOOKUP is this uh, function called lookup value. So let's have a look at what it says in the documentation on how it works. So here's the documentation for the lookup value DAX function, uh, and let's look at the description here. It says it returns the value for the row that meets all criteria specified by one or more search conditions. And you can see the syntax example here with some of the parameters that it needs. Um, as a minimum, it needs three things. It needs the result column name, so the column that we want. It needs a search column name, which is the name of the existing column from the table that you're on. And then the search value, which is what you want to search and compare with the search column name. So let's give it a try. So if we go to our table here in our order details table, we can create a new column. We will name this one, uh, let's say product name very simply and then we'll start typing lookup value and let's see what it gives us so it asks for three things as we said so the result column name that we want is we want the product name from the products table and then the search column name is uh, the um, the search column that we want to use so products product id and then the search value is actually also product id but the product id on the orders table so if we close that, so just to recap, it asked for three things, the column that we want and the two columns that are matching from these two tables. So if I hit enter, you'll see that quite easily we've got the product name from the products table and into the order details table. And to show you the relationship, there, there is no relationship between this table. So we just used the lookup value as a way to um, do a search to look for the matching product IDs into the products table. Now that's a pretty easy example of how to use the lookup value, but I wanna go back to the documentation and look at it a bit closely because there are a couple of things that I want to note and I want to show you. So there are a couple of things in this documentation that we didn't cover. The first couple of things to look at are the parameters. So if you look at the result column name and the search column name parameters, these two, you have to feed them with columns and it can't be expressions. And keep this in mind uh, because I'm gonna refer to this a little bit later. The second thing that you'll notice in the syntax here is that you have the box brackets around the search name and the value. So that means that you can have multiple search criteria if you have multiple columns that you need to match. I'm going to show you the demo of that uh, later. And also the third and last thing that we didn't add is another optional value parameter here, the alternate results, which is basically a replacement value if there are no matching values between the two tables. So instead of blank, you can have it say, not matching. So I'm going to show you how to do, use that as well. So let's go back to our Power BI report here under order details. We will create again a new column and this time let's try to get the categories from the products table. So we'll uh, go through the same motions once again. We'll go look up value. Result is the category name. We want the product ID matching with the product ID. 
Here we go. So you've got the categories here matching with the product ID. And now what I want to do is this time I want to add some more search criteria. So let's say we want to just get the categories if the category of that product is confections. It's just the type of category that uh, we want to use as, as an example. So we're going to say um, the if the product category name is um, confections. Hit enter. So you'll see you have a lot of blank values here now, but if you scroll a little bit further, you'll notice that only those confections categories are being filled in. Um, and that's because of this search criteria, we're saying, okay, if, uh, um, if you are matching, if you have any category names that are uh, similar to this value confections, give me the category name of that, which is ironically confections. Now, if you don't want these empty values to be empty and instead you want them to be something else, we can take advantage of the alternate result. So uh, it's pretty easy. So you just need to make sure you add it at the very end of the lookup value. And then for here, we can just say, okay, for the alternate results, we just want to say uh, not confections. So anything that are not matching it has to be not confection so here you have it and that's it so now you know how to use the lookup value dax function in power bi now i want to show you how to do the exact same thing but easier using relationships so personally i don't use lookup value function that much because it's a bit slower than the alternative that i want to show you now and it's pretty limited with what you can do so for example you can't have your results as an expression so remember i was uh, hinting at the fact that the results value can be an expression, um, which means that you always have to return a single column for that. And let me show you where the limitation is with an example. So let's go back to this categories column that we've just created and let's convert this into a total sales column. So let's say we want to get the total sales of the order and you get the total sales by multiplying the unit price by quantity uh, from these two columns here. If their categories are confections, so how would you do that? Now, what we can do is we're just going to cut this lookup value and we're going to use it in a little bit. We'll create an if statement and let's say if this value is confections. Uh, so basically this is what we're saying is if this uh, value in the categories is confections, which is what we're using the lookup value with, then you want to use the unit price multiplied by quantity. We want to say otherwise it's zero right and we'll just rename that to total sales to make it a little bit easier to read so as you'll notice everything else is zero unless this actual product is a confection in which case it evaluates the expression multiplying the unit price and quantity now you can't just replace this and put this up here as a results value because it can't take, uh, as I said, the lookup value can't take expressions as a result and you just need to use the, um, the results, the columns that it gives you um, without having any expressions or calculations on it. Now, if you want to get the same results but requires multiple lines of code and a little bit faster, the easiest way to fix it is by creating a relationship between your order details and the products table. So you can do that by easily dragging the uh, connecting columns between the two tables and Power BI will create a relationship for you. And what this relationship does is it tells Power BI how your tables are connected. So it means that um, with your lookup table, you have to define what is the connecting column between these two tables. Now with this relationship in place, it means that you don't need to specify what the connecting columns are, making it a lot easier for you to write expressions like, uh, let's say, total sales. So let's go back to the tables that we have here and let's do something else here. So let's delete this if statement, our evaluation here. And instead of writing all of that lookup value, let's just type related now. And let's say I want to get the category name from the products table. And I want to say if it's the same, if it's confections, then do this calculation else is zero and that's really it for the dax code so as you noticed because we've created that relationship we didn't need to define the connecting columns which means that we just need to focus on the actual calculation uh, and the comparison itself so we're just checking the category name uh, and then checking if it's confections or not and then if it is then we do the calculation 
If not, we do something else. So as a recommendation and best practice, I always try to utilize relationships as much as I can, just because it's a lot easier to manage and also performs a lot better than lookup values. However, if you have two tables that you can't create a relationship between and you still need to do some sort of lookup value like this, then the lookup value function is the alternate way for you. And that's really it for this video. I hope it helped you understand how easy it is to start using the lookup value DAX function in Power BI. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access demo files and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.